Hey guys, and welcome to an OBS tutorial. I know right now you're looking at me and there's like so many faces of me right now and you don't know which one to look at. Now this is a tutorial on how to have one webcam. This is just one webcam, by the way. Like if you see, I'm looking right at the one camera and it has multiple different iterations, like all different cropped in different styles. And this is gonna show you how you can use one webcam and have them all working with different crops, different styles, different effects. Like you can see one is transparent background. One is the full screen at the top right. There's one that's cropped down to like a small little like face cam. It's like right in the middle at the bottom. And then you have like a weird crop of the left, which is like an ASMR, maybe like, like just my lips over here, as you can see. And I'm gonna show you how to get this effect and how to do this within OBS. Okay, so what we're looking at right now is just a typical nice scene collection, a nice new one. I made a new one here. It's just a testing one, not my usual one. So you can see here, we have just this, this part here just for the video. So we're gonna have a display capture to show you what I see over here so I can show you exactly what buttons I press and a microphone so I can speak into it. So ignore these two different sources when you see them because this is just so I can actually record this video. All right, so within the scene face cam full, we're going to be making a new source. It's going to be called video capture device right over here. And I'm just gonna move this over to the right because the camera is going to appear on my screen in my recording as I press this, so click okay. So what I'm quickly gonna do is I'm just going to resize this so that it's not blocking everything on the screen. In your case, you're gonna want this camera to be full screen. It has to cover the entire OBS preview panel. But within the properties of this video capture device source, we're going to be basically select the camera that we want and we're gonna go with the Elgato virtual camera right over there, boom, and we're gonna click okay. And my camera now became even smaller for some reason, but all you have to do is drag it out to full screen. And this is what we're going to do now, but for now I'm going to hide this webcam layer because you can't see my OBS anymore, but this is what you want this scene to look like. It should just be your face in full screen. So I'm gonna turn that off there. It's just this one over here, as you can see on my OBS. And what we're gonna do now is we're gonna right click the face cam full and we're going to duplicate this. And we're gonna call this face cam maybe no background. This is gonna be the one that has no background. We're gonna basically remove the background out of this one. So click okay, it's just a duplicate. Now, before we start adding filters on this, I want you to always, always make a duplicate of face cam full. The face cam where it's full like this, this is the one you need to duplicate you're never going to make another source for the video capture device. You're never going to make a new one. You're never gonna go add and make a new video capture device because then it's gonna turn it off in different scenes and it's not gonna be the effect that you want. So you're gonna duplicate face cam full, make face cam no background. You can duplicate it again and maybe we call this face cam cropped. So if you don't want like the full screen, like from left to right, you wanna maybe crop it into a square. Okay, cool. So let's go start out with face cam no background. Now, in order to add these effects, you never add it directly to the source. That is the problem a lot of people do, is that you don't add filters to the source. You go straight to the scene. Face cam, no background. This is the one where you're gonna right click. You're gonna go filters. It's gonna open up like this. And you're gonna click this plus button down at the bottom left. And you're gonna select the filters. In this case here, I've got NVIDIA background removal. Boom, okay, add it on. Now right now, this is just showing my desktop on your screen right now, but what we're actually looking at is this over here. You can see there's no background on my camera anymore. It's it, it's gone, right? You got the face cam full over here. It shows It shows the full camera just like this. But when we go ahead and we move to face cam, no background, boom. So while it is tricky for my end to record this, for you, it should be a lot more simpler. Now, if we go to face cam cropped, we're gonna have our face like this and we're just gonna crop it from the left and the right, for example. So let me just show you how you do that. On the scene over here, face cam cropped, you're just gonna right click it. You're gonna go filters. You can hit the plus button at the bottom left yet again, just like this. And we're gonna go crop and pad. You're gonna select okay. And then from this point, you're just going to type in numbers here to crop it. Now, right now, this is actually going to affect my screen size in front of you, just like this, but you're gonna want the camera to be on the screen right now. So after I've cropped it, this is what it's going to look like. There's gonna be a whole empty black section next to me, right over there, like just the darkness. And that is what we want. We also have the face cam no background, as you can tell. And then face cam full. All right, so now that we have those created, they only have my face cams in there. I, I deleted the screen display and I deleted the microphone sources from those. You don't want those in there. Now, in order to add those face cams onto your main scene, all you literally have to do is in your sources for the main one, for this video over here and this scene here, we're gonna right click in the sources section and we're gonna add and we're gonna add scene. And this will give you the option of adding scenes that you have already independently on the left. So face cam full, for example, we go ahead and we add that one. 
I'm going to resize this one. You can see here, this is still the same source that we're in, but we now have the face cam scene, the full face cam scene. And now we're going to go ahead and we're going to go add, and we're going to add another scene. We're going to add the, the no background one. There we go. There's the no background one. And we're just going to resize that one, position it where we want. Maybe we want it here. Maybe we want it over there. You can have it wherever you want and you can adjust it. And you can see here, we have two different settings or different like effects on the webcam, even though we're only using one camera. And now we can go ahead and we click add, we go scene again, and we can add the cropped one, the cropped face cam, and boom, there it is, a nice cropped face cam for wherever you want to place it like this, or you know, if you want to put, put like a, a border around it, this is how you're going to do it, and this is how you can have multiple iterations of the same webcam preview in OBS. I hope this tutorial helped you guys, and thank you so much for watching this video.